Hi everyone, we're Michelle and David and welcome to the Explore Us channel. Welcome back, David, the developer of the Explorers Traveller app again. Today we're going to have a look at the map overlays and the features that are available in the map layers control, which is this little option up here. We press on that. Whilst we're in the map view, we can obviously change our base map type uh, from our online map sources or our offline maps. If we just flick into a different map source, you'll see that the map changes. And the data that's presented on top, or the overlays with the places, the treks, and stuff, is just represented. Different. It is just re-represented, regardless of which base map type you're using. They're still turned on. We'll leave ourselves on the EO Topo 2021 map set. It's our maps. What we will show you right now. The other things we'll just go and turn off all of these other layers. We'll turn off our folders. I'll explain what they are in a minute. Our places. We'll turn them off as well, and we'll turn off the treks. Each one of these folders, places, and treks, they have their own videos. If you haven't yet caught up with those, make sure you check those out for more information about what is available in there. Our snail trail option here. For those of you who use the snail trail, the snail trail is a persistent little uh, recording of where you've been as you've moved with the app running. Also, just to clarify, this piece on the left here is a simulation control that I run on my development system. I'm re recording these videos on my development machine. Uh, so I have access to do some things that you don't have within the app when you get it at home. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my simulator, which is going to make me uh, start driving down the road here. And hopefully it'll start moving and off we go. We're moving as if we were driving down this road. And what you can see coming out behind us, you can see it small, is our little purple snail trail. Might be a little bit hard to see if we're having trouble seeing it. We've got some options to change its color in settings. Let's just quickly change its color so that we can highlight it a bit better for you. What we're looking for is snail trail color. Let's change it to aqua. That should be bright enough to see on the map. There is a video on the settings panel that you can go back and have a look at. And you'll see now that our snail trail is appearing in the color that we selected. I made this line that's jumped across here because I am actually sitting in Perth. I'm not really driving up the road. It's jumped me back to Perth. So I've created a snail trail that goes along this road and then zooms all the way off to Perth. Um, we can obviously within this control, there's another button for snail trail. You can obviously make it visible on the map or invisible on the map. You can just see it appearing and disappearing as I click on this one. And the clear option. The clear option here simply just clears the current what you currently can view on the map. Each of the positions that was recorded in your snail trail is stored permanently in a database on your device. Uh, but once you clear the snail trail, it's not recoverable for view on the map at, at all. So only clear it when you're comfortable that you don't need to use the reverse path or the availability of seeing where you've been on the snail trail. Okay, what else have we got? We can turn on our tracks layers. Let's go from the bottom up and we'll turn on our Trex layers. Okay, so at the moment you can see a Trek has appeared on the map. Uh, we can click on that Trek and it'll tell us that it's Davenport to Cradle Valley. Uh, I don't want to go right into all the details of the Trek. Watch our Treks video for more information on that. However, when you're in the map view, and I'm just going to scroll out now so that we can get a little bit more on the screen so you can hopefully see a bit more about what's going on when we activate these controls. If we click on the filter here, or this, this filter symbol and the word all treks, if we click on that, we can now filter these treks of what is visible on the map right now. So let's select, say, four wheel drive and we'll apply four wheel drive. So it's showing treks four wheel drive and you'll see that some of the other treks disappeared off our map and we've only got the ones left that are four wheel drive specific. We could add four wheel drive and say two wheel drive and all wheel drive. Let's pick up everything that we can drive and we can hit apply and we'll see the ones that fit that criteria. These filters are a new function in the um, version 7 app. These didn't exist before. Uh, I know in this particular area I don't have any boating, canoe and horse treks. There's some in Victoria and around the country and you can obviously do cycling and MTB. 
uh, if you've got data elements assigned to it. Now, these will show both your Explore OS treks, the system-based ones, and your private ones. Uh, if you've created the treks, they'll all show up in exactly the same way using these filter sets. Let's just drop treks off for the moment and go to the next one up and have a look at places. We'll turn on places at the moment. You'll see that the map is talking about all places. Uh, at this zooms level, and I'm at 8.4 according to the little zoom counter over here, I can see only the clusters of icons in this area because there's too many icons to be visible. As we zoom closer, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer, I could be using the button over there. I'm just using my mouse you could use pinch zoom on the screen uh, any way to access to get into those features you'd see the places all now appearing of course just like the treks below if you click on the filter all places option you come up with our comprehensive places filtering options if you want to see a bit more about the places filters i'd suggest you have a look at the places tutorial it talks about these in much more detail just to say that let's turn on the where to stay filter you'll see that a lot of places disappeared quite quickly there i can see one little caravan park left on the map if i zoom out what we should have visible on our map right now are all places of type where to stay so that's going to be caravan parks that's going to be free camps free camps caravan parks fee camps uh, apartments lodges and resorts and things like that will all appear at this point and that is all we're going to see on the map. So we've effectively filtered down the result set that's visible on the map to just the things that we've chosen. Of course, like in all the filters, we can select the specific types of things that we want to see or places that have a specific type of attribute. So again, we use pet friendly. Let's say we want pet friendly places and anything that allows a pet will show up on the map. Now that may be accommodation, but there may be a whole myriad of other places that uh, allow pets. Anything that's pet friendly would be now appearing on the map. Okay. Folders. Folders is a new feature within version seven. Um, I've obviously got a folder item here because there's one little icon left on my map from all of that. Uh, in my folders, I have three folders. This particular place that's showing up here, I can click on it, find out what folder it's in by asking for the folder, and it's in the Places video folder. So at the moment, from my map overlay selection, I've got all folders turned on. If I was to turn go into the all folders option, what can I do here? I can filter down to which particular folder I'd like to see. So if I turned on the Places video folder, I would still see that one particular place. If I switch that to say this OTL waypoint small list and hit apply, that particular place is gone because I'm only showing places and things that are within this OTL waypoint small folder. That particular one is somewhere in South Australia. So hopefully if I go up there, you'll see there it is. There's the places that are within that folder. And that is all that is currently visible on the map for all of the whole system, just that one folder. If that folder had treks in it and or it had track logs in it, they would also be appearing as folders can store treks, places and track logs. So there you've got the, the three options with the three filters uh, and you can apply all of those or any of those in any combination you like and it will be persisted for the app for the until you change them so it's not it's it doesn't uh, get erased when you reboot the app these settings stay in place the whole time until you change them i hope that helps you understand a little bit more about the map layers and overlays uh, available in version 7 as usual make sure you subscribe to our channel thanks for using explorers traveler